Hello guys, welcome back to more Horizon Zero Dawn. Today we're gonna continue in the same mission that we we stopped in last video. So for those of you that didn't see the ending of the last video, this is got too much. Today already. we're gonna start with the ending of the last video. We're about to see a cutscene, and then we're gonna continue on with the mission. The Eclipse, tampering with a metal devil. They don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! So, we're gonna have to fight the Deathbringer. This is actually the second one that we fought so far. The first one was a couple of videos down. But that other one couldn't move. This one can. So, let's see if that makes it harder. Alright. Can you guys... Can you guys imagine if they revive that thing? The thing is huge. It's gonna take a while to kill it if we get to fight it. So that doesn't happen. Alright, so we're gonna start by scanning around the area. There's one guy. So there are three guys here so far that I see. Oh, four. There's another one. Oh, yeah, five. Yeah, there's another one like far over there. And then the machine. Okay. Let's do this, guys. I'm about to kill this guy first. The guy didn't even see us. Looks like this machine is going to be a lot harder to kill than the last one. This one is actually like moving around and stuff. Hidden. No oh, I don't have any materials to make um, fire arrows. Gather some of this mess. Be useful. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get rid of the weapon.
Alright guys, so we almost got this thing down. We basically have to overheat it, but we have to do It's down. It took a while, but we finally made it. Alright, we're gonna loot this thing up. See how much resources it has. So it has a um, modification. It has modifications. Nice. Oh. It has a 40% damage coil. 42% tear coil. Alright, I'm taking those two. Forget about As I see, light. I have no space for it, so I'm gonna see what I can get rid of. Oh, modifications. I can get rid of this 6% damage coil because I'm getting a 40% one. And I can get rid of this one too. Alright, let's see. So we're taking this one and this one. I don't know what this is. It's a resource, okay. I don't know if I want that coil or not. Nah. Alright, so we're gonna go search the war room. Let's see what we find. Dr. Sobek, you can take a seat. What? You're going to sack her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, oh, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for me this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder! Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it, and it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and their team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. What is that? Dang, so what are these people? It looks like it got pretty ugly back in Elizabeth the day when they were trying to when they were trying to stop the the machines. I don't know what happened there, but it didn't look pretty. Alright, so let's continue up. Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. 
That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> it's not that simple. I'll need some time to work out the details. So what am I supposed to do? Wait around? I'm sure you have other matters to attend to. I'll be in touch. Wait! Silence! Other matters to attend to. <sighs> well... Varl and Sona still need help against the Eclipse. Guess I'm off to Devil's Grief. Alright guys, so we're done with this mission. Um, I don't know what happened there, but... I am still thinking about that big machine that's inside that building or, or cave or whatever. So it's not getting any warmer. And it looks like we're off to helping out our friends while we wait for this guy to look for a weak point on Eclipse's network. So I think we're gonna end the video right here, guys. Don't forget to give it a like if you guys wanna see more. Don't forget to leave a comment down below telling me what you guys think of the game so far and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.